Next one go to integration by parts. Integration by parts. Let f of x comma g of x. Let f of x comma g of x be two integrable functions. Let f of x comma g of x be two integrable functions. Then integral of f of x into g of x into dx. Here f of x comma g of x are two integrable functions. Then integral of f of x into g of x into dx is equal to f of x into integral of g of x dx minus integral of d by dx of f of x into integral of g of x into dx whole dx. Integral of g of x into dx whole dx. This is the formula for integration integrable by parts. Here f of x comma g of x are two integrable functions. Then integral of f of x into g of x into dx equal to f of x in integral of g of x into dx minus integral of d by dx of f of x into integral of g of x into dx whole dx. Here f of x on f of x or g of x be depends on depends on the functions depends on word i let. The first function is considered from the word i let, where i equal to inverse functions, where y i is equal to inverse functions, l is logarithmic functions, l is logarithmic functions, a means algebraic functions. And T means trigonometric functions. And E means exponential functions. E means exponential functions. In integration by parts, the first function is taken from the word I laid. Where I is the inverse functions, L means logarithmic functions, A means algebra functions, T means trigonometry functions, and E means exponential functions. So, some examples integral of x into sin x dx, integral of x into sin x dx. Here the first function is considered, here the first function is taken from the word I let. Taken from the word I let. Here x is the algebra functions and sin x is the trigonometry functions. x is the algebra functions and sin x is the trigonometry functions. From the word I let, the first function is taken as x, taken as x and the second function is, is taken as sin x. Here f of x equal to here f of x equal to x comma g of x equal to sin x. f of x equal to x comma g of x equal to sin x. Apply by parts. That is the integral of x sin x into dx equal to. Here the first function is x that is x into integral of sin x into dx minus integral of d by dx of x into integral of sin x dx whole dx. Integral of sin x dx whole dx that is x into here integral of sin x is minus cos x minus integral of d by dx of x is 1 integral of sin x is minus cos x dx that is minus x cos x here minus of minus plus integral of cos x dx integral of cos x dx that is minus x cos x plus integral of cos x means sin x plus some constant. There is a value of integral of x sin x. Integral of x sin x dx is equal to minus x cos x plus some constant. And go to second example. Integral of x into log x dx. Integral of x into log x dx. Here the first function is taken from the word I let. 
here x is the logarithmic here x is algebraic function and log x is logarithmic function in this word i let in this word i let the first function is logarithmic function and the second function is algebraic function that is f of x equal to log x comma g of x equal to x g of x equal to x apply by parts integral of x into log x into dx equal to log x into integral of x dx minus integral of d by dx of log x into integral of x dx whole dx integral of x dx whole dx the first one is of the form integral of x power n that is integral of x power n form is x square by 2 that is x square by 2 minus integral of d by dx of log x log x derivative is 1 by x and integral of x, x is x square by 2 dx here one x is cancelled that is x square by 2 into log x minus 1 by 2 into integral of x dx again is of the form integral of x power n integral of x power n is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 that is x square by 2 plus some constant the value is x square by 2 into log x minus x square by 4 plus some constant. 